Hello, today I'm here with Stan Flintner from the Diamond Tail Ranch. He runs the ranch with his son Tim and uh, there's actually three generations currently working on the ranch and today uh, we want to find out about kind of his management strategy. We're coming into a year after drought. What do you, th what do you, what are your considerations, things that you consider about a year after drought in grazing the range? Well, I guess the, the, the most important thing is, is recognizing the drought and, and and managing your land properly before you go into a drought, uh, your your country's got to be in pretty good shape going into a drought if you're going to come out of it in any kind of uh, with any kind of yield on your grasses. If you if you hurt that grass during a drought, then it's going to be if you stress those plants, it's going to be tougher on a drought. And as you know, we've been here a long time, and a lot of things have changed. Our the bar is raised. Our country's in a lot better shape than when my dad was here and we were thought to be pretty good grazers back in the 50s. And it's in much better shape now because they've raised the bar. We're dealing with the environmental community. And uh, we're also dealing with people that, uh, that don't understand the cattle business, that, that are range cons, that don't understand our business. And, and some of them, I don't think, uh, they have a different agenda than they did 40 years ago. So when they cut our flexibility, it's a little bit hard to 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 come out of the drought, it's a little bit tougher. But if we have if we have the flexibility bill in our programs, so when we go into a drought that that we're not overgrazing or we, we're changing the use, and then when we come out of that, uh, it's a lot easier to manage that land. And that land's in a lot better shape. So it's a lot more important on on what you do during the drought than it is coming out. If you do the right things going into a drought, coming out of the drought is gives you a lot more flexibility and those plants are stressed that uh, you've got to take it easy when you come out of a drought you can't go back out and and graze it full tilt uh, it's better if you don't uh, if you can change the season loose use or you know sometimes it's uh, when we feed hay uh, it's it doesn't really matter when you feed it uh, you can feed it and maybe stay off there in the spring and and uh, feed a little more hay in the spring stay off your your pastures in the spring so that's mainly uh, what we, we were in a drought in the 70s and we improved country in the 70s it, going in and coming out of the drought because uh, we had some range cons that really helped us and I learned a lot from some of those range cons that worked for the BLM and I think they helped us and, and we improved that ground and it taught us that you, how you can you know there's sometimes you can even overgraze in the winter time so you have to be careful all times and, and you have to recognize you have to be out there to recognize when your plants are being stressed and take care of them. Okay well thanks Stan from the University of Wyoming Extension this is Dallin Smith.